Well, if you live in Greater Victoria, you've got the chance until July 1st to help decide how millions of dollars are allocated to organization, organizations across the region through the Vital Signs Survey. Put the end off, yeah, yeah. cut it in half. Since 1936, the Victoria Foundation has been connecting people who care with causes that matter. Hey -ya, hey -ya, hey -yo, oh, hey -ya, and for the past 13 years, the Vital Signs Survey has shown the foundation what are the most pressing issues to the residents of Greater Victoria. It really is the DNA of our organization. We use it in all aspects of what we do in terms of working with our donor community and having them understand the, the community better, what are the priority issues, what's going on, but also right through to our granting. Welcome. Because when an organization applies for a community grant from the foundation, they identify which vital sign issue area they prioritize. That way we can line up you know, the priority issues with a way to make an impact in the community. <laughs> Which is why going online and filling in a survey is so important, whether you're 18 or 88. We really want people from across the region to chime in. Um, in particular, this year we're really looking for some West Shore representation and out on the peninsula, which are typically a little bit underserved in terms of survey response. The survey takes about 10 minutes to fill in. You can come back later if you run out of time. You can take it online, you can take it on your mobile device, you can take it on a, on a desktop computer, and it's just a series of questions. That you walk through uh, what you think are the different issue areas and how you think you're, we're doing in those areas, and also collect some demographic information about the citizens that are taking the survey. Click on the Links tab on our website to take the Vital Signs Survey. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.